But all the House just passed a transportation bill that raises several fees and adds new ones to pay for roads. The one that drew a lot of fire during today's debate involved a new retail delivery fee of 75 cents. John Croman joins us live from St. Paul. John? Well, the Capitol Democrats have pretty much given up on the idea of raising the gas tax for now, so they're looking for other sources of revenue that would be dedicated to roads. And that's why that uh, delivery tax fee is so attractive to them. Now, we're talking about something they're saying that would not apply to things that are already exempt from sales tax, like clothes and groceries, and it wouldn't be collected from companies that make uh, less than a million a year. But that did nothing to blunt the kind of anger we found, the reaction from Republicans during the floor debate. At a time when we have a $17.5 billion surplus, this is your wake-up call. Do you hear me? This is it. Stop taxing low-income people. Stop taxing anybody. You're just driving people out of the state. We're not driving everywhere. I mean, we can sit in our basements and have our meals delivered to us, have clothing delivered to us, have everything delivered to us, and we're still using the roads. Another controversial part of the bill would be a sales tax increase of three quarters of a cent in the seven county metro area to pay for expanding the bus system. Republicans say that should wait. It should wait until after the state does the study to see how many people are still riding buses here in the metro. Now, Democrats defend these revenue raisers. They say that they point out that uh, most of the surplus, two thirds of the surplus is one time money. And once it's gone, it won't be renewed. And there's a lot of people now at the Capitol competing for the rest of that money. So they want more revenue for roads ongoing. So we'll see how this one shakes out. Back to you.